Good evening and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our service of night prayer or Compline on Wednesday the 31st of May 2023. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our rector, the Reverend Joe Richards and our curate, the Reverend Jenny Warpole. In the calendar of the Church of England, we are required today to celebrate the visit of the Blessed Virgin Mary to Elizabeth. The Church today recalls the visit of Mary to her cousin Elizabeth, as Luke's Gospel records. The celebration of the feast first occurred at a Franciscan Order General Chapter in 1263, but quickly spread throughout Europe. Since it is a celebration clearly described in the Gospel, the churches of the Reformation were less inclined to prescribe it than they were other Marian feasts, particularly as it was the occasion for Mary to sing her great hymn of praise in honour of her Lord and God. Just as Luke sees John the Baptist as the last of the prophets of the Old Covenant, he uses John's leaping in Elizabeth's womb as the first time John bears witness to Christ as the promised Messiah. Thereby he links the Old Covenant with the New. He seems to be saying that just as the Old Covenant clearly points to Jesus, so does its last prophet yet to be born. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. <coughs> the refrain for Psalm 31, starting at the first verse uh, to the fifth and then 19th to the end is into your hands I commend my spirit into your hands I commend my spirit in you O Lord have I taken refuge let me never be put to shame deliver me in your righteousness incline your ear to me make haste to deliver me be my strong rock a fortress to save me, for you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I commend my spirit. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared in the sight of all for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown his steadfast love when I was as a city besieged. I have said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried out to you. 
Into your hands I commend my spirit. Love the Lord, all you his servants, for the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full the proud. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait in the hope of the Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, when scorn and shame besiege us and hope is veiled in grief, hold us in your wounded hands and make your face shine on us again. For you are our Lord and God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our short scripture reading is the first letter of Peter, chapter 5, verses 6 and 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. The Nunc Dimittis, our Gospel Canticle. Blessed is she whose soul was pierced by the sword of the cross. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed is she whose soul was pierced by the sword of the cross. Gracious God, we thank you for this past day, for all the glories that we have been presented by your great creation. The people we have met, from whom the face of Jesus shines, one and every one. We thank you, Lord, for keeping us safe this day, and we pray this night you will be with those who are afraid, who may be close to death, who may be wait waiting with those who are, and those who are afraid because they live in troubled circumstances, financial, or the threat of oppression or violence. And we pray all these things, gracious God, knowing that your great love enfolds us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Mighty God, by whose grace Elizabeth rejoiced with Mary and greeted her as the mother of the Lord, look with favour on your lowly servants, that with Mary we may magnify your holy name and rejoice to acclaim her son, our Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. 
The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our service of night prayer or compline. The rector will be with you tomorrow at nine o'clock uh, for a service of morning, a benefit service of morning prayer. Have a safe night. And know that our God loves us all. Good night.